Welcome to the Wrestling News and Opinions Breakdown for SmackDown, which was aired May 28th, 2015. It took place two days earlier on the 26th at the Mohegan Sun at Casey Plaza in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. And they open up the show with Dean Ambrose cutting a promo in the ring regarding Raw and how things transpired. Is uh, You know, they've gotten some heat at least from the podcast world, about you know how things went down on Raw, saying it was too Attitude Era-like and that there wasn't a full explanation for how Dean Ambrose ended up getting the paddy wagon. And so Ambrose went into you know, a detailed explanation of that night's you know, uh, events as he was talking about, first off, when they had the whole thing backstage with him and J&J and, and Seth Rollins, Push the cameraman into Dean Ambrose and then actually that cameraman as it turns out is Will Ferreira from Ring of Honor Wrestling which Ring of Honor Wrestling will be airing on Destination America Wednesday nights at 8 o'clock opposite NXT on the WWE Network so that will be a lead into TNA so it's kind of interesting to see Will Ferreira on Raw so they showed that clip and then he was talking about how he got arrested and he was at the police station and everything that was going through his mind and then he got one phone call and he called his best friend Roman Reigns and so then he told Roman to buy him some time and just then that's when the YouTube clip came out with Seth Rollins pushing Ferreira, the cameraman, into Dean Ambrose and so then the police let him go. And Dean Ambrose said that he's had a lot of friends on the municipalities over the years. And so they actually gave him an escort and let him ride in the paddy wagon. <clears throat> this totally contradicts Dean Ambrose's character. Dean Ambrose getting along with the cops is like the Batman getting along with the Joker. It doesn't make any sense at all whatsoever. That's not his character. His character is the Joker. He is an agent of chaos. He's Dean Anarchy Ambrose, the lunatic fringe. That makes no sense, this explanation. Ambrose delivered it as best he could. He did an excellent job on the mic. I would not fault him whatsoever, but it's just really, like, bad writing. It would have been better if they had just left it in the air. If you can't, at this point, it's kind of like, why did you even do it? Why would you do something that then you can't explain other than to come up with an explanation that totally contradicts the very nature of the character? You know, it, it just doesn't make sense. I guess they're just trying to bury Dean Ambrose with that writing or something. Or just get us ready for the fact that I guess he's not going to win at Elimination Chamber. Because, like, they just destroyed the whole character of Dean Ambrose with that opening. I mean, I guess it's just a minor thing. It doesn't really matter, right? And everybody will just forget in a week. But that was just like a low point in Dean Ambrose's character. No fault of his own. Just horrendous writing by WWE. And it was like, oh, you know, basically because people, you know, like said on their podcasts about how it didn't make sense and everything. So then they come out with this explanation. And maybe they got some flack about the whole deal because he came back in the paddy wagon in what was inferred, you know, but hello, that's his character. It's a fiction. If you, you know what I mean? And then don't do it if you're then going to come out with some bogus explanation, like I said, that just goes against the character as a whole. It, it made sense if he would have beat up the cops and then just took the paddy wagon. That would make sense. That would fit Dean Ambrose's character. But for him to be like friends with the cops and then freaking them to let him ride the paddy wagon, you know. I understand where they're put in like an awkward position and everything, but that's just not his character. <laughs> it's just stupid. Hello, it's television. It's not real life. That's kind of the thing. It's like, why? Because in real life, like they got to be cool with the cops. Obviously, in real life, but it's a, It's not real life. It's wrestling. So you're just gonna contradict the character and have no continuity whatsoever just because you're afraid of like the real life implications of it then don't do it don't put yourself in that position anyway that was how they opened up the show by just totally ruining Dean Ambrose but whatever <laughs> let me know what you think in the comments section do you think that that was a contradiction of Dean Ambrose's character and they just totally 
mess with the continuity of his character, totally destroy his character. They kind of set up for Roman to make the heel turn and him saying, oh yeah, he's my best friend and stuff. So then it'll be that much more of a turn when Roman turns on him. But Dean Ambrose just like, I don't even know who Dean Ambrose is anymore after the that opening. Cause, and like, I understand that they have to do that because they gotta be PC and it's PG, but, but don't act like don't they've been making moves towards like back you know opening it up making it not so pg i mean roman reigns said bitch on the air not that long ago they've been doing different stuff to you know kind of like signal the end of the pg era but now that what is it the pc era is that what it is now i don't know they just shouldn't have bothered with doing it then i thought it was all right the whole thing and I thought it fit, like, his character and everything like that. And I didn't mind that it, like, harkened back to the days of Stone Cold. Except that then with this explanation, it's just like, don't even bother. Like, I'd rather just, like, f just let me figure it out for myself. And let me just, like, make it up in my own mind. At least if you don't explain it to me, I can make the characters make sense in my mind. Because you haven't, like, ruined them with bad writing. Just don't say anything then. Let me just imagine it for myself so that I can imagine that it's better than it is. Why would you do that? Like, ah, uh, it's just so bad. And I like to pretty much put out a positive opinion and have a positive look on wrestling as a whole. I'm a wrestling fan. I'm not trying to down it by any means. It just don't make sense. You know, and like I said, I understand that you can't be like, oh yeah, Dean Ambrose be up to cops. Don't put him in that position. Don't, you know, th that whole thing. Now I think that whole thing on Raw was just stupid as hell. If, if that's how you're going to explain it away, don't even bother explaining it. Like, but anyway, let me know what you think in the comments section. Interested to read your thoughts and opinions. If you think I'm just overreacting or if, they, if it still somehow fits Dean Ambrose's character. Apparently I just don't even know what that character is. Uh, you know what I mean? I thought he was a lunatic fringe. I thought the A... You know, like, D.A. was Anarchy, not District Attorney. I thought it was Dean Anarchy. Dean Anarchy Ambrose. Why is his shirt the Anarchy sign? Thought he's an agent of chaos. I guess he's just the regular dude. He's just, you know what I mean? He ain't really shit, apparently. Apparently, he's nothing what we thought he was. But And, and then why is he going around, like, the way he's going around? He might as well just start dressing back up like the S.H.I.E.L.D. then. Uh, if that's what it is, dress like. Why is he dressing like this? Why does he have that shirt? Everybody burn your Dean Ambrose shirts because <laughs> they don't mean anything. They're freaking meaningless. They're a lie. His whole character's a lie. They just ruined it. But whatever. Like I said, let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm interested to see what other people think. Let me know. Definitely. Thank you for listening.